greetings and salutations. Here's a new angle for you. This is the inside of my living room and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new and I am so glad to have you here. I had to go to the doctor today. For those who aren't aware who haven't watched back videos, I am participating in the 165 mile challenge a local event here in my area you walk or hike or bike or whatever it is that you want to do on the local rail trails or canal trails and you walk 165 miles I'm sure there's a reason but it's a challenge and at the end if you log all 165 miles you get a prize a nice little something or other and I am trying to do that so I went to the doctor today I went to the doctor and I had several questions, all of which I got answered. I am me. I am tall. I am overweight and it's just the way it is. And I had been referred to a bariatric doctor before for weight loss surgery, except I didn't realize that's what I was being referred to them for. I thought I was going to get referred to a nutritionist, but no. And that was a little bit of a shocker for me because I am not against bariatric surgery for anyone except myself. I would just rather not do it. If it's right for you, it's right for you, and it's not right for me. So I talked to the doctor today, as you do when you see the doctor. It's a brand new doctor, and I really like her. She, I think she fits better with me than my previous doctor did. We talked about getting me to see a nutritionist, because of course, you know, they weigh you on the scale and they see that it's in the 300s and it's not good so she asked if I wanted to be referred to the bariatrics and I was like eh, not if I it's surgery I want to like talk to a dietitian I'd love to talk to a dietitian and she explained that oh well it's bariatric medicine you start with a one event and then they decide if you need therapy or they work on a meal plan and there's a physical trainer and or physical therapy physical therapy and all of this stuff and that sounded good so i am getting referred to that doctor she did encourage me to be walking more which is you know or exercise at all <laughs> at all but i think what i got out of it of the appointment most was that referral what else did we talk about we talked about earwax I am one of those people that uses a Q-tip every single day after every single shower to dry my ears because I hate that sound when you stick an earbud in and it goes squish or yeah. So I wanted to find out if she saw tons of earwax in there or if I was looking pretty good. I think at some point she was going to refer me to an audiologist, but that didn't happen and I'm okay with that for right now. Just uh, pardon my mishearings because I can only hear one thing at a time and as soon as I've got two inputs or I'm not paying attention to the one input, I have no idea what's going on. We talked about the shingle shot. I don't remember what the age used to be, but I know I'm too young for the shingle shot, but I am not too young to get shingles. I had shingles in the late winter of 2020. I went to a conference, I came home, I got the flu, and then I got shingles immediately. And I had chicken pox as a kid, so I knew this was a thing. And yes, it did suck. I am very grateful it didn't suck as much as it could have. I know a lot of people endure excruciating, can't deal with it, can't touch it, can't touch anything pain. I had an irritating pain, but not an intolerable pain. So once that, oh man, that was a, that was a thing. I was like, oh, I got this little blister and, and it's weird. It doesn't, it, it doesn't itch, it hurts. And this one person who I knew had shingles previously and had the, just the worst case of it, the worst time of it was like, oh, and I was like, oh. So I wanted to find out if I can get the shingle shot. No, I, you can get the shingle shot at 50. I am not 50, I got five years and out of pocket, it's like three to $400. So no, I do not want to pay out of pocket for that. She told me I can still get shingles again anyways. It was likely I got shingles because I was already down from flu. If I was already down with one viral infection, it made it easier to pick up on another one. And so it's unlikely that I'll get it again, but I could. I mean, that I could get it again before 50. What else did we talk about? We talked about my OCD a little bit. The fact that I'm seeing a therapist and a psychiatrist for managing those things we talk about dental things Ooh. she's like I do go to the dentist every six months and I'm like 
<laughs> I do everything else. I go to the, get my boobs squished for mammograms. I am impatiently waiting for menopause. I go to the eye doctor every couple of years. I do not go to the dentist. I had a bad experience as a kid and I let it take over my adulthood. And I don't go to the dentist because I am afraid of the pain. And the trick is I know that for me personally, I need a lot of Novocaine and I need a lot of time for it to process. I don't know if my circulation slow or it doesn't like to process Novocaine, but if you give me enough, it could be up to three shots and you let me wait, I'm fine. And the last time I went to the dentist, he was cool with that. The other thing is I actually asked for a prescription ahead of time. I was like, listen, I'm super nervous about this. Is there anything you can give me? So he gave me, I don't know if it was Valium, but it was something to just kind of, and that was nice. So I, I need to get to the dentist again. I can feel that there's like a chip on one of my molars, uh, whether it was a filling that fell out or it's just a chipped tooth. I don't know, but I need to get it addressed. And that was my day. It felt like a really good appointment. I am now scheduled, oh, guess what they recommend at 45? Colonoscopies. That'll be fun. What else did they set me up for? They referred me to the bariatric doctor. They set up my appointment for next year, which was nice. I, they didn't used to do this. Like well appointments used to only be for children. I don't know when they started being for adults, but it's a thing. So if you have insurance and you don't go because your well appointments should be free, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All insurance is different. Not everyone is as lucky as I am to have insurance. So take that with a grain of salt. But apparently well appointments are for adults now. Who knew? That's all. I really need to get walking again. I haven't been walking and I guess this is a little bit of a walking update. I think I've gotten 6.5 miles towards my 165 mile challenge. And we're now in the second month of it because it started May 1st and it is now June 6th. And I don't know, I took a week off of work and I fell off the walking wagon. I told everyone in my family that it was gonna be, not everyone, but everybody in my house, it was gonna be Tuesday and Thursdays. I was gonna go to the gym after work and, and get a walk-in to use the gym membership they have. I haven't given up on the 165 mile challenge. I haven't given up on going to the gym to walk, but it feels like I gave up because I haven't been going and I just need to get back on the horse because this year is about not giving up. That is, I think, it. I'm not sure there's much else interesting to share. Uh, just that I'm not giving up and these little updates kind of make me feel better to keep myself accountable and saying I don't give up, I need to put some action behind it. We, we'll, we'll get there. I hope you are having a fabulous day. And if you're not having a fabulous day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. And I will see you next time. Bye.